Hi, in this review I'm going to be showing you a uh, text broker. It's a freelance site where you can purchase uh, content, written content, and some images, or you can write content for clients. And I'm going to give you my overall inside view and impressions of it. So first off, I want to just you know let you know that I used to have an account with text broker, but for some reason they closed it, so I had to open a new account. All right, and um, you know, so in this case, this is the, probably one of the few videos where you're gonna have to trust me that I did have an account here, right? And I also did have several, <laughs> several orders placed. And first thing is, I want to show you the interface when you sign up. This is the dashboard, and this is where you're gonna you, uh, go to create orders. You can also go to direct order where you you know send your order to one author or a team of authors right here. But in the beginning, you use this one. So when you create a new order, after you deposit your money in, uh, it will take you to the screen where you can set your criteria. And just give it a minute to load. Okay. So then you have open orders, direct orders, or team orders, and so on. And uh, you can place your order here. All right. So these are different templates. And... Um, you can pick from this is the most common one you use uh, but you other also have blogs blog idea um, other press releases product description web pages template with guidelines social media but let's go with this one here now here's the thing when you order you, know, you can set the processing time you can set the category the rating of the author here's the thing that that, that bothers me here when you rate, when you go for a two or a three star, it's much cheaper, which is the one that they push for a lot. But it's written by like really, really poorly written uh, text, you know, made by you know a lot of spelling mistakes, a lot of grammar mistakes. So in order to get anything that's readable, okay, you need to go through four stars, and that's that's quite expensive for eight hundred to nine hundred fifty words. You know, twenty six bucks. For something that's just like vanilla okay, which is what you get from my experience now, it, it, it's just overpriced. Like if you if you get some decent, high written quality product for twenty six dollars, then yeah, you know that's fine. I, I don't mind. I'm willing to pay more. But for twenty six dollars at four stars, even five stars, it's not that great. The other thing that, that, that the other problem that they don't show you here is let's say you ordered a four-star order and you get it back and you don't like it. Now, after a couple of revisions, you, you uh, dispute it because it's, it's garbage, right? Text broker will side with the writer and then they'll just force you to pay. And that's it. <laughs> that is it. There is no... You know, no questions asked, money back guarantee. If they if they, if they send you junk, whether it's four, five, two, or three, one star, whatever, nine out of ten times, text broker will push you, force you to pay whatever it is, whatever it is here, okay? So that's the thing I really don't like. Uh, number one is, you know, they force you to pay for garbage, right? Or vanilla garbage is essentially what it is. The other thing I don't like is that there is absolutely minimum quality control on whatever you order here, all right? So if you order a two-star, three-star, four-star, the only quality control you have, all right, as far as I know, when I, when I ordered it, is that they, they just run it through Copyscape one time. And even as everyone should know, Copyscape is not perfect. There's many, 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 many ways to game the system, all right? So... You, that's it. There is no grammar check, no spelling check, no nothing. It's just pop it once through Copyscape and that's it. And then what you get is what you get, right? So, and then what you pay is what you have to pay. So that, that's that's one of the like the downsides to uh, text broker. You know, your quality, the quality is not that great, even at four to five stars. It's really really overpriced for what you're paying. Okay. And lastly, you can't, if you dispute anything, text broker just takes your money anyway. Just, they just side with the writer 
and you're forced to pay. And finally, any anyone can can uh, what was it write anything that passes CopyScape, right? It, it's not that hard. But you know, there's no grading on grammar or spelling or quality of of writing. There's no there's no editorial review process. It's just once the it goes directly from the writer to you. Right? No, no proofreading whatsoever. No second proofreading, nothing. So the quality is very, very low. All right, and um, for the and finally, if you're a writer on the other side, right, you're most likely going to get stuck at three stars. Everyone who enters gets about two to three stars. To get the four to five stars is very political. <laughs> they have to grade you, and you have to take these exams sometimes. Uh, I don't know what it is anymore, uh, what it is now, but. Uh, I started out at three stars, and then you know they had to assess me, and it doesn't matter. I was getting like four or five star reviews, and they st- I still kept me at three. So it's very political if you're if you're writing for them to get the four to five stars, which I I don't really like. Right? The, the, the grading criteria is like up in the, it's it's up in the sky. Like if you're in the insiders club, you you can go up, but if not, then you're stuck at three. All right, so that's that's what it is for a writer, and as for you know a consumer, which I, which I did both, okay, um, four to five stars, you're, you're getting you're getting junk, you're, you're getting trash, and then anything anytime you dispute it with text broker, and if you don't believe me, and I want you to just to don't take don't take my word for it, I want you to go ahead and test it out, all right? to take a cheap order, as cheap as order you can, you know, go to like two star ratings. You know, and uh, but like you know, two hundred words or whatever the minimum is. All right? Let me see, two hundred. Okay, two hundred to three hundred words, and it's about five dollars for two hundred to three hundred. And this is two stars. This is like you know, barely readable. You know, really, really poorly written. Grammar, grammar errors all over the place. Hell, even spell ch- spelling errors. And they're charging you five dollars for three hundred words. Right? And and I want you to see the quality that you get from a two star. Don't don't take my word for it. Go ahead and check. I'm trying to save you your five dollars in heartache because you, even if you you dispute it, you're not going to get your money back. Okay, you'll find out the hard way. So that's either you, you take take my word for it, or you go ahead and you find out, and you go ahead and you try to dispute it, and you'll see what happens. Even for five dollars, they're going to side with the two star uh, two star seller, and uh, you're going to be forced to pay. All right, so not very consumer friendly. So basically, anything that's you want to be like decently written it has to go to four to five stars. And you look at five stars, right? You're paying twenty two dollars for three hundred words. Like, oh my god, that, that's so expensive, All right? So you're expecting some really, really well written, you know, uh, content at twenty two dollars for three hundred words. And the quality of content you get at the higher end, at five stars, is just very vanilla, very boring. It might have like no spelling mistakes, which is which is great because you're paying twenty two dollars for something like that. But um, it's very boring, right? So that's that's why you know I don't recommend text broker. The quality of writing, whether it's five star, two star, one star, is just poor. You get at the low end, you get grammar mistakes all over the place, spelling mistakes, right? At the two star end, at the five star end, it's just vanilla, dry, and then ultimately you lose your money because you dispute it. Text broker is going to side with whoever wrote it, and you, you lose your money, right? Um, the other thing is, if you're a writer, most writers will start off at three stars, right? And then you have to take a test. And and then you can get promoted to four to five stars. It used to be like that. I don't I don't know what it is now, but when I was in, that's that's how it worked. And it's very political. Like to go to, go from three stars to four stars, you have to take a test. And as a three stars uh, star writer, I was getting like five star like reviews from my clients, and I got stuck at three stars. So their their evaluation process for writers is, I think, in my opinion, at that time, very political. So it's not great for a content creator to work on this platform, and as as a you know, person as a customer looking to you know outsource your writing content, it's not great either because at two stars or three stars it's just kind of junk, and four to five stars is just overpriced vanilla written content. Right? So for those following reasons, I cannot 
I can't rate Text Broker high. I would probably give it maybe a three, maybe three or four out of out of ten, right? Because the refund policy is, you know, almost non-existent. Um, the quality of writing for a five stars is definitely overpriced at twenty-two dollars for two to three hundred words, and at at two stars, it's just overpriced junk. It's just hard garbage at that price. So for those reasons I mentioned, I don't. I would stay clear of text broker until it they change, or until the quality improves. So once again, this is Vince from Digital Nomad Institute signing off.